Good morning. It's Monday, October 21st, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Reason to Leave, and our scripture is Paul's first letter to the Corinthian church. When one of you has a dispute with another believer, how dare you file a lawsuit and ask a secular court to decide the matter instead of taking it to other believers? Don't you realize that someday we believers will judge the world? And since you are going to judge the world, can't you decide even these little things among yourselves? Don't you realize that we will judge angels? So you should surely be able to resolve ordinary disputes in this life If you have legal disputes about such matters, why go to outside judges who are not respected by the church? I'm saying this to shame you. Isn't there anyone in all the church who's wise enough to decide these issues? But instead, one believer sues another right in front of unbelievers. Even to have such lawsuits with one another is a defeat for you. Why not just accept the injustice and leave it at that? Why not let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you yourselves are the ones who do wrong and cheat even your fellow believers. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or are abusive or cheat people, None of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Some of you were once like that, but you were cleansed. You were made holy. You were made right with God by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Paul makes the case for God's people to trust God's holiness rather than man's cultural bent makes little difference that the world mocks one who would follow Christ rather than bow to world and societal pressure. Our standard is what God says. This is the background of why Paul wrote what he did in his second letter to the church at Corinth. You don't let the world judge the church. It's the other way around. Too many Christian people get that backwards. The rub in all of this is that our faith very often puts us at odds with people we love. It's so hard to take a stand that puts distance between us and our friends, neighbors, or family. Jesus did make it abundantly clear that that would happen. Luke chapter 12. Do you think that I've come to bring peace to the earth? No, I've come to divide people against each other. From now on, families will be split apart. Three in favor of me, two against, or two in favor and three against. It is certainly not wise to separate over trivial issues, like whether it's right to be a Republican or Democrat, or if the color of the church carpet should be green or plaid. Well, (laughs) but there are issues of righteousness over which we must hold a higher bar to the level of our affiliations, those things we take into our lives and become part of our character. Even the word affiliate projects that sense. The word comes from the medieval Latin base that's related to the process of adoption, bringing into your home something or someone from the outside to be part of you. A child adopted is irreversible by law. By common sense, a practice or a habit you adopt undoubtedly changes your worldview and allegiances for better or worse. In his second letter to the Corinthian church, a fellowship that was gifted by God above many others, but steeped in worldliness and hedonism and sexual sins, Paul didn't pull any punches at this point. He told them it was time to fish or cut bait. They couldn't do both. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers and separate yourselves from them, says the Lord. Don't touch their filthy things, and I will welcome you. And I will be your father, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. 
for you today. Holding two opposing convictions never makes either stronger. It only drives the holder insane. Better to choose God, be adopted into his character, than to side with this world which is passing away. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.